Now we're being joined by arguably two of the most exciting fighters in the world. The undefeated phenom from Grand Prairie, Texas, 17-0, all KOs, Virgil Ortiz Jr. and his opponent, the ever dangerous, only one loss, the Lithuanian, the mean machine. Virgil, you're 17-0, 17 KOs. It's been hard for you to find opponents that'll take you on. So when Egg is signed, how'd you feel? Uh, well, first of all, I feel very excited. This is a very, this is a fight that promises action. It promises war, and I'm I'm happy to be part of it. Now, Egg is for you. You know about Virgil. He's got the record. He knocks everybody out. You know, you've been yeah. in there with the best. Why take this fight right now? Because I never, I never won easy fights. I always ask him for some challenges for like for real fights. And Virgil, this is the guy who's like he's a real fighter. He loves to be in the ring and loves to fight in the ring. So this is the fights I want to be like in in. And that's why you're the mean machine. That's why you have fans after you, I guess, where they know that you're going to step yeah. up and take somebody. But there might have been somebody who would say, "Wait a minute, this young lion might be too much." What do you say to people who think that? So. It's not too much. It's never too much in the ring. Like it's always war. So like, how can you like consider some somebody's too much or, or too less? Like you always take the fights you want to be in, and the, you're fighting the guys who like you consider they're like they're on top. So you want want of want those fights. I never want easy fights. Oh, you never sure. exactly. You never want easy fights. That's why fans like you. No. And Virgil, same thing with you. You don't want the easy fights. You want this. Sometimes people are telling you to slow down a little, little bit. Like, you know, you've had other fighters say, or Virgil's good, but he's not ready for this. What do you say to those people? Well, yeah, I mean, basically it's the same thing. I, I don't want the easy fights. I've said it in the past before, you know, when you're playing the game, I just go straight to the main quest. I don't like doing the little side quest or anything like that. I don't like the filler fights. I, I want to get straight to the point. I want to fight the best that's out there, and that's what I'm doing. You want to fight the best. See, that's why I like both of you guys. That's why when they announced this fight, I was like, oh, intriguing. Because you guys don't mess around with the salad or the appetizers. It's get in the ring and get after it. Eggers, though, when you look at this young man, and you said, you know, he wants that fight, what should we expect? What kind of fireworks are going to be there in Texas? Oh, I think it's going to be a very good fight. I'm excited for this fight, and I think fans will love this fight because... Virgil is the style who goes there and fights. He's like real old school Mexican fighter and I like that style too. So like I don't want to like in the ring. I just want to show everything what I got, what I prepared for and I just want to show the war in the ring. So I think it'll be an interesting fight. Virgil, did you watch his fight against Bud Crawford? I did, yeah. What'd you think? I mean, honestly, it, it was a very entertaining fight, first of all. Uh, I, I liked watching that fight, and, you know, he clipped him. He, he really did. He's arguably the only person to have knocked him down or even hurt him in a fight. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty good, how, how do I say it, like on his resume, that's that, that makes him look good. And, I guess, you know, credit for getting in there. Virgil said he watched it. But does that experience of going in fighting for that belt give you an advantage in this fight? I think Virgil is a different type of fighter than than Crawford. So it's it's yeah, some experience. Yeah, it, it was a good fight fighting for the world title. It's it's still experience in my boxing career, but that's gonna be a different fight with Virgil. And Virgil, people have said they've heard you, they've seen you. You said I'll take on Earl Spence, I'll take on Brad Crawford, I'll take on anybody, anywhere, but. You cannot be overlooking Mean Machine. You cannot take him lightly. What's the attitude in camp? Oh, I mean, we treat every fight as if it's the hardest fight of my career. And I honestly do believe that this is going to be one of the hardest fights of my career. And, you know, this is including my my potential future fights in the future as well. We're taking this fight very seriously. We're, we're in camp. We're training hard 110%. And, you know, we're, we're not looking past anyone. Virgil, though, you win this. Do you deserve a shot at a title? I mean, I believe so. You know, hypothetically, I get the win and uh, everything goes as planned. I, I feel like I should be able to, no, no one could say no to me. And I guess for you, you have a record 21, 1 and 1. Your loss comes to Bud Crawford. You think people are maybe writing you off too soon? No, I don't think so. 
I'm still there. I'm still fighting and I'm getting in the ring. I'm putting the work done in the gym and I will show in the ring what I'm capable for. But why go and fight in this young man's backyard? Why not? This is boxing. This is boxing. Like we're not, we're not, we're not taking. Like I'm not the guy who's taking like some easy fights and like be like very comfortable in the ring ring with like some some other dudes. Like I wanna I wanna get there like to real fighters fight the real fights. And Virgil, you hear that answer? He's going to your backyard, not too far from where you're from, fighting at Cowboys facility. Everybody's on your side. How cool is that for you? I mean, you know, it feels great. You know, this is my second time in a row fighting in Texas back at home. I, I definitely do have, you know, that support behind me. And, you know, it just it just fuels me even more, you know. Um, I'm going to do uh, what I can do to impress the fans. Uh, and, yeah. And now this is a fight. Last one for me here. You Normally you have guys who make up trash talk. Guys that go back and forth where, oh, you come find me, come find me, do this, do this and that. A lot of talking, right? You two don't talk. You're going to go after it. It's kind of refreshing to have a promotion like this, isn't this, Eggers, where you know the guy's going to be there for you. You know you can find him, and let's sign it, and let's get going on August 14th. And I'm kind of that guy. I'm old, probably like old school guy. I don't know. Like, I don't like the trash talking. I like the fighting. I like do the trash talking probably like in the ring, show me with my fist, with my skills, with my power. Like, I'm not the trash talker, that's for sure. Yeah, you're all class. Virgil, you got to respect that. Of course, yeah, I'm exactly the same way. Yeah, exactly the same way. It's Don't even try to get these two trash talking. Get your tickets August 14th in Texas. Virgil Ortiz Jr., undefeated, 17 KOs against the Me Machine from Lithuania. Agus Kalaviaskis, we'll see you August 14th. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.